It's that time of the year already. Yup, it's back to school season, and here I am to prepare you to slay the school year away. <laughs> this video is for the chill girls, the fashion girlies, and anyone who just needs outfit inspo for the upcoming semester. So get your notepads ready, kids, and welcome to What to Wear to School 101. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of leggings, but they're so comfortable, and so my advice is the key to looking cute and staying comfy at school is investing in really good basics that you really like and will wear time and time again. And instead of trying to dress up your leggings, focus on looking put, put together by like fixing your hair and a little bit of makeup if you like. And obviously the real star of the show is my Hello Kitty book bag. I mean, come on, she's gorge. When I was in high school, you could never catch me in a skirt, but ever since the pandemic, skirts have become such a staple in my wardrobe and one of my favorite pieces. This skirt is actually a squirt too, so I don't even have to worry about flashing anybody, which is super cool. It's so cute, and the lowers that your figure show in, in a different way. I know some dress codes are stricter than others, but this skirt ends just at my fingertips, so I think you'll be okay. Or you can even swap it out for a denim, uh, midi, or maxi skirt if you like that as well. She goes to the farmer's market, she reads for fun, and she wears maxi skirts. Personally, I do none of the above, but the outfit sure makes me feel like the mature, manic, pixie dream girl that I desire to be, and don't we all? The maxi skirt is definitely dress code friendly and super comfortable. This is an outfit I would recommend to the girls who like to dress cute but not too far out of their comfort zones because it's so chill. If you're a girl who doesn't know the first thing about fashion or putting outfits together, a monochrome look is almost always a safe bet. I recently picked up this Paul Frank shirt at Forever 21 and I'm obsessed with the blue color and I also have these blue pants that are giving parachute pant vibes which is totally in right now. I also just threw my hair in braids because I feel like it makes the look feel more thought out. I think this is my favorite outfit from the whole video because I feel so confident in this and it even brought out my inner hey mamas a little bit. <laughs> Uh, button ups just look so sophisticated, but not buttoning it up all the way and throwing on this leather vest just feels so chic and cool. The Hello Kitty book bag is also giving, I don't care what people think, <laughs> and although that's not true, people don't need to know that. As long as you walk around with confidence, nobody's going to think about it twice. In fact, people will probably envy you for doing what you want and not what people think is quote unquote acceptable. Plus, it's a really cool conversation piece. The neutral color scheme is always in. It's always a go-to when I don't know what to wear. This is something that you can just throw on and leave in as long as your clothing fits you well. I would argue how your clothes fit is way more important than the actual clothes itself. If it fits good, it'll look good. And that's something that you should write down, kids. <laughs> also, when it comes down to dress code, you can always throw on a button-up like I did here or put on a full-length shirt too. If there is one thing that I want you to learn from this video, it's that yes, we do all notice how wrinkly your pants are. Go iron them or steam them before you walk out of the house. The key to looking put together is putting a whole lot of effort into appearing effortless. Had I ironed my pants, this would have served to model off duty, but I just look like I'm wearing pants that don't fit me. So learn from my mistakes and iron your damn pants. This look is the quintessential student look. It's jeans and a crew neck. It's giving I read, it's giving go back to school. So if you want to level it up a little bit, you can befriend a cat like I did here, or you can also throw on a turtleneck underneath just to give it a little bit of extra zhuzh, you know? Make sure you're not wearing your crew neck like an old man, you know? Tuck it under, kind of over your butt, and then throw it. It looks a lot more flattering this way and more effortless, chic, cooler, relax yeah it just looks better like that so make sure to adjust your neck a little bit this is me realizing i got makeup on my turtleneck so this was a sad time for me <laughs> anyways on to the next outfit the word edgy actually makes me cringe but i feel like it's the perfect word to describe this outfit um, I wear this exact outfit to work and I got so many compliments. Um, I got the rhinestone bodysuit on Amazon and it's a great layering piece, especially for a warmer day since it's so thin. Um, the midi skirt definitely passes the dress code and lets people know you didn't come to play. Um, I do wish that the denim skirt was black, but who cares? 
My mom would definitely call this a hoochie mama outfit and I don't even blame her because it's a bit scandalous and I probably wouldn't be comfy wearing this in the real world because, you know, men exist. But for my brave girlies out there, it's serving sexy and mysterious. And for my more modest girlies out there, tights and a jacket would fix this right up. Like I said before, a monochrome look is always a good way to look cool and fresh. And this particular look is giving Y2K, but also futuristic vibes if that's possible. <laughs> the all-white look is just so clean and it makes me look taller. Also, my headphones look so good with this fit. And you're probably going to see this fit on my Instagram sooner or later because I just love it. It's bold. It's powerful. This look makes a statement. So definitely wear all-white if you want to make an impression. This dress from Zara is one of my favorite dresses to wear when I feel like I have nothing else to wear. This dress is perfect because if I'm having one of those days where I really want to dress up but I literally hate everything in my closet and everything about myself, I could just throw this on and even if I don't feel good, I know that I look fine. Pro tip, invest in cute and casual dresses because they're so easy. You just put them on and that's the outfit. It's up to you if you want to accessorize and you know make it a little bit more interesting. But this dress is just such a statement on its own. So I didn't really do much. I put on my black platform docks because if best dress taught me anything, it's that fashion is more interesting with a little juxtaposition. The pandemic stole two very important academic years of mine, my senior year of high school and freshman year of college. So now that I'm going back to school in 2022, I just want to spread the message that you should really cherish every moment, even the moments that kind of feel like hell. Take those opportunities, have those experiences, do as much as you can because you are really only young once and this is the moment. So with that being said, these are all the outfits that I have for you today. Stay tuned for a back to school hairstyles video next week. Please help out my channel by liking and subscribing. It would mean the absolute world to me. Um, so yeah, good luck this school year and bye guys.